it's been two weeks since the petrol scarcity saga and motorists as well as small business owners in the Aja Badore axis of Lagos State are still lamenting the untold hardship caused by this development. Plus TV Africa correspondent Destiny Momo has more. This NNPC along Badore Road, Aja axis, is selling fuel at this time. Hence the reason for the crowd and long queues of cars, tricycles, motorcycles and fuel gallons. The manager of the station says he is hoping the situation eases off soon as the station sells for 162 naira per litre at this time. You know, the problem is from uh, on top because you can see this fellow I'm selling now since uh, about almost four to five days now. The truck is at the depot there. Uh, MCC say they will come. Unfortunately, they will come this morning. And after the surgery, you can see that the operation starts. Uh, like now, right now, yeah, we are not selling above the price of the federal government. This NNPC, we sell it at the rate of 162 naira per liter. Having queued for about three hours, these Lagosians lament their ordeal. I feel so bad about everything. You know, and I feel like I feel that all these things that people are doing, they're not even working with them, or I don't just know. So, but I just feel so bad. Because I've been here and I've even scratched my motto as I'm talking now. Somebody that was not in the queue. Oh, we both never get that by fuel. This is our Africa. When they gather, they buy fuel, they give ourselves injured. Interesting, uh, nobody is actually taking responsibility for this whole mess. So, I mean, it's just crazy. They are calling on the federal government to improve on the situation and ease the tension on citizens. Like Sanusi said when they wanted to increase fuel, he said, I don't know how much they buy fuel. I don't go to fill station. My is that I see fuel in my car, I go to the airport and fly to where I want fly. So now, uh, the government or the NMPC uh, group should begin to look at the individual because we are the one consuming. It's o'clock now. Now the time is 10.30. I don't really understand what is going on here. And the thing is really stressing us. We have work. We left our work to come by for here. Me and our government find something to do about this. We don't like it. But how are small business owners coping with these biting situation? You need power every time, but since there is no fuel now, getting fuel is very difficult. Last time I have to go get black markets, and it was quite expensive. So we have to run gen. Sometimes we run gen 24 hours, no light. So it has been very, very serious. It was in, in all angle because we don't get the fuel the way you're supposed to get it. So if we, if we want to work now, we don't have enough fuel to do our work, so it makes us not to do the work we supposed to do. Well, since there's no fuel now, I cannot do light, no electricity, no Nepal. It's because of the fuel now. now I'm suffering because of fuel now. My business, my office is locked already. The federal government last week raised hopes that the lingering fuel crisis and its attendant queues at filling stations would ultimately disappear this week. Nigerians are still looking forward to this. Destiny Momo, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.